Hi traders, I want to teach you a very important lesson today about the entry points and stay until the end of, the vi of this video because I do have a great present for you. So let's take a look at Momo. Momo was a great short trade. Momo came down, nice bear flag formation. It was one of my best winners. Here's what I did today and here you can see Momo up over a thousand dollars. Now let's go back to Momo. Momo breakdown, the bear flag was right over there at 38.60, just a cent under 38.60. The big question is when to move in. Now is the entry point for a short breakdown would be a cent under 38.60? Well, this is something that you will probably learn in most trading books and trading experts. I will teach you something else. Now, the entry point, the technical entry point would definitely be under 38.60. But there's a huge difference between taking a trade at the breakdown point or maybe a little bit above. In order to discuss that, I would like to go back to one minute candles. Now, first, we see Momo coming down today dramatically. It's down and then it stops and comes back a little bit and then comes down again. So that's what really built the bear flag formation. And of course, the question is when to move in. Should we move in under the lows or should we move in a little bit above that? Now, what I would like you to see is again, coming back to five minute candles is the breakdown point and going back to one minute candles is getting a little bit more knowledge about what really went on in Momo. So take a look at that point right over there. That point is 38.75. That is the point, in my opinion, where you should have shorted Momo, not underneath the lows 38.60, but a little bit above that. Let's assume you would have shorted it at 38.60, just below the lows, which is the right technical point, And I can't argue with that because once the stock moves under the lows, there's plenty of sellers and it has a very, very good chance to continue. And it did. It did move under the lows and continued for another 60 cents. So that was a great trade in Momo under the lows. However, the difference between shorting it under the lows and a little bit above is 15 cents. And now I want to discuss with you the importance of a few more cents in trading. And I wanted to do the next uh, test, especially if you're struggling, especially if you're losing money, especially if you are still trading and trying to figure out the way to move from a loser to a winner. The test I would like you to do is go back to your trading account and add just a few cents, not much, somewhere like three to five cents to each and every trade you took in the past month or maybe in the past year if you're trading for a year and you're still losing money and i suggest the following i believe and test me out i believe that if you're going to add maybe three cents to every trade you took in the past year there's a huge difference between becoming red and green Meaning if you will just add three cents for every trade you took in the past year, you will in fact move from red territory to green territory. Now I'm trying to discuss a way with you where you can in fact gain a little bit more on every trade that you take from now on. The system is very, very simple. You just take a look at the trade, in that case Momo right over there, and you ask yourself before it moved down under the lows, where is the point where when it crosses that point, it would definitely move under the lows. Meaning, try to imagine, because you do not know yet the result, try to imagine what would happen if Momo would start moving right there under the lows. What are the chances that if it moves under 38.75, it will in fact continue to move under the lows? So if I take a look at 38.75, at that point, I know it's going to come down. How do I know? Well, that's the artistic part about trading. Trading is not totally pure technical. Trading is somewhere in the middle between exact science and art and you have to develop the artistic part of you now at that point at 3875 when i take a look at the chart and again you do not know what's coming next so try to forget the rest of the momo breakdown under the lows 
Now at that point, at 38.75, and now try not to laugh at me, I will ask Momo, what do you want to do? Really, seriously, I will ask it, I will take a look at the price, and I will ask it, Momo, at that point, at 38.75, really, what do you want to do? Would you like to continue higher? Would you like to continue lower? Would you like to break down under the lows? And then wait for the answer. Now, it's not really going to answer you, <laughs> but at that point, you need to imagine the answer. And the answer that Mom is going to give you at 38.75 will be, definitely, I want to go down. No problem. I'm going under the lows. So if it gave you that answer, if it gave you that answer at 38.75, click the button there because you probably have like 90% chance at that point that Momo will definitely come down under the lows. And therefore, you gain another 15 cents. Now, I'm not talking about an additional 3 cents for every trade you just traded in the past year. I'm talking right now about adding 15 cents to the Momo trade. This is huge. Adding just a few cents, even 3 cents for every trade, is a huge difference between being a winner and being a loser. So I'm talking right now about adding 15 cents to the trade. You can do that at every stock that you will trade from now on. At a certain point, once you decide that you have a good technical entry, it doesn't matter if it's a breakdown like in Momo case, or a break up or a reversal, whatever you see, take a look at the stock and ask it. What do you want to do at that point? Would you like to continue lower Momo? And Lomo will just take a few seconds to answer you back and it will definitely tell you, well, I think I've decided to come down under the laws. And if you try to imagine what will happen 38.75, then you probably will agree that there's a very good chance that you will soon see Momo under the laws. Conclusion. Professional trading is all about anticipating, not watching the result and acting upon the result like taking a short under the laws, is anticipating the laws. You should be anticipating the move down, you should move into a trade before it breaks down under the laws and not at the breakdown. That's a huge difference between a professional trader and a starter. Thank you for listening and now listen to that great offer that comes next. Hi for all of you who are new to my channel, welcome! If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you did subscribe, you can get my trading book, The Market Whisperer, an Amazon bestseller for free just by clicking here. So first subscribe and then get free online access to my trading book right now.